Good morning once again. So today we will be talking about the quotient of radicals. Okay, let's have first the quotient rule. So under this quotient rule, you can actually separate the radicand. So let's have here cube root of A over B. So if you're going to separate this, this would become cube root of A over cube root of B. Or you may combine them also. So let's have here fifth root of A over fifth root of B. So this would become fifth root of A over B. But take note, you can only combine them under one radical if they are having the same index. Okay, so let's have the first example. So square root of 28x cubed over square root of 7x. So if you're going to put them into one radical, so this would become square root of 28x cubed over 7x. Okay, let's simplify. 28 over 7, that gives us 4. And x cubed over x, that gives us x squared. So let's simplify further. Square root of 4, this gives us 2. And square root of x squared, so we are going to have 2 divided by the index 2. So this gives us an exponent 1. So for number 1, we are going to have 2x. So for the second example, let's have square root of 250x raised to 8 over square root of 5x raised to 4. So if you put them into one radical, we are going to have the square root of 250x raised to 8 over 5x raised to 4. So simplify, 250 over 5, that gives us 50, and x raised to 8 over x raised to 4, that gives us x raised to 4. Now we simplify this, so we have here square root of 50 is the same as 25 times 2, and we copy x raised to 4. Now square root of 25, this gives us 5, and x raised to 4, so we are going to have 4 divided by the index. This gives us an exponent 2. And we leave the 2 inside the radical. So for number 2, we are going to have 5x squared, square root of 2. Okay, number 3. So cube root of a squared over 27. So we separate them. So this gives us cube root of a squared over cube root of 27. So we copy the numerator, cube root of a squared, since we cannot simplify this anymore. But cube root of 27, this is the same as 3. So for number 3, we are going to have cube root of a squared over 3. Okay, number 4, square root of 3 over x. So we separate this, this would become square root of 3 over square root of x. But since we cannot leave the radical in the denominator, we are going to rationalize. So to rationalize, we multiply this by its denominator, square root of x over square root of x. So 3 times x, that gives us square root of 3x, and x times x, that gives us square root of x squared. So we simplify further, so square root of 3x over, and square root of x squared, that gives us x. So for number 4, we are going to have square root of 3x over x. Okay, number 5. We have there 7 over square root of 5. And since we cannot combine them, since numerator is a whole number and denominator is a radical, so we can actually rationalize everything by multiplying this with its denominator. Now, so we have here, so 7 times square root of 5, that is 7 square root of 5. Denominator, we are going to have 5 times 5, that's square root of 25. Simplify the denominator. So we are going to have there 5. So for number 5, 7 square root of 5 over 5. Okay, number 6, we are going to have there square root of x cubed over 3. So we are going to separate this first. So square root of x cubed over square root of 3. Now numerator can be simplified. So the factors of numerator will be square root of x squared times x over, we simply copy first. Now simplify the numerator. So square root of x squared, 
we're going to have their x square root of x. We copy the denominator square root of 3. So this time, we are going to rationalize since we cannot leave a radical in the denominator. So multiply this by square root of 3 over square root of 3. Now, simplify. So x times square root of x multiplied to square root of 3. This would become x square root of 3x over denominator square root of 9. Simplify the denominator. So this gives us x square root of 3x over 3. So for number 6, we're going to have x square root of 3x over 3. Okay, now simplify the radicals using the lesser index. So for number 1, we are going to have their 10, 10th root of 4 raised to 5. So what we're going to do is to simply divide the 10 and the 5. So 10 divided by 5, that gives us an index 2. Then we copy the radicand 4. But in mathematics, we do not put their 2 in the index. So therefore, it's just the same as square root of 4 with no 2 in the index because it's already understood that there's 2 in the index there. Now, square root of 4 is the same as 2. Okay, second example. So, fourth root of 4x quantity squared. Again, we divide. So, 4 divided by 2, this gives us 2. Then, we copy the 4x. So, again, we remove the index 2 there since it's already understood that there is an index 2. So, square root of 4, this gives us 2. And we leave the x inside the radical. So, therefore, for number 2, we have their 2 square root of x. Okay, so that's all for today. I hope you've learned something about the division of our radicals.